Hey there, Hunters. I wanted to go over some quick settings that you might want to have a look at in the Monster Hunter Wilds open beta test. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to your pause menu and coming over to the system tab and clicking on options. The first one we're going to look at is here under the controls and it is the auto sheath. By default, this is enabled, which if you're just kind of standing around and not dodging or attacking for a certain amount of time, it'll put it away. But I like to disable this. It just kind of makes your life easier. So yeah, so just go ahead and disable that one. The next one we're going to use is scroll to the bottom here and go to item use controls. This is while using your radial menu by holding L1 and moving the right analog stick. Normally you'd have to kind of flick the analog stick in a direction, let it go. I don't really personally prefer that. So if you don't prefer that either, this one allows you to hold the analog stick in a direction and click down R3 and it will use that item as soon as you click down on the right analog stick, which I personally prefer. It's a little more tactile and gives me that feeling of, yes, I actually used this. So again, you might not want to change all these settings that I'm changing, but I wanted to give you guys some ideas of stuff that you might want to take a look at. Up next, we're going to press R1 again and go to the camera and we're going to go to the second page here. And first of all, the camera zoom defaults at four here. And as you can see in the background, it gets really close to my hunter. So I went ahead and zoomed this out because that definitely helps when you're looking for monsters or if something's flying overhead or you're just trying to snipe a specific monster part while using focus mode. Having that slightly more zoomed out camera is going to give you a much larger field of view. The camera distance pan starts at one at default, so I left it there. The shake, I turn down. Again, this just personally helps me keep track of monsters a little bit better. And the ambient sway is at five. I turned it down to about two. That way we still get some movement, but not so much that it's, you know, nauseating or bothersome at all. Then right below this, we have the focus camera. So by default, this is enabled. And once you start a hunt, the camera will auto lock to a monster and the camera will follow it around and it can get kind of disorienting at first. So go ahead and disable this and then you can choose to turn it on when using the target camera by clicking R3 or clicking down on your right analog stick, kind of like you could in older games. And then you can tap L1 to check out the monster. All right, the next one we're gonna wanna turn on is on page three here in camera, which is the aim assist. So again, when your reticle is on, it will slow down as you get to the monster so you can enable or disable this again this is going to be up to your personal preference i currently have it enabled i think it kind of helps with some of the bowgun stuff finally we have the monster sighting camera here in the camera settings when you first spot a monster it takes you into this kind of cinematic where it zooms in on the monster and says its name and all this stuff and your hunter is still active, so you kind of lose the ability to actually see what your hunter's doing, control your hunter, put on a ghillie mantle, set down a trap, or start to get set up. And I just found that to be a little annoying, so I went ahead and disabled that. Again, if you want it for immersion, you can go ahead and leave it on, but my personal preference was to turn that one off. Up next, we are in display, so this is going to be for consoles mostly. I'm making this during the PlayStation Plus beta. Turn on 120 hertz output. The game can run it at certain points. There's going to be times in combat where you dip into 60 or 50 FPS, but in the cutscenes, I was getting an easy 120 hertz, which was awesome. The final setting is I like to turn off motion blur. I just think it's kind of a pointless mechanic, really. You're never going really fast enough in Monster Hunter to need motion blur. And I think it kind of helps with, you know, kind of graphical stuff and just helping the game look a little bit sharper rather than blurry. Yeah, so that's going to do it for this video on the settings, guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for more Monster Hunter content. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I wish you all a good day and happy hunting.